found a winner today. Well, Chris Muntz uh, trained the winner of the Ipswich Cup, Smart Meteor. This was this would give him so much of a thrill, and he had a double take, taking out two out of the three features. Yes, he did. He's had a really good run of late. He's had the uh, couple of winners over Stradbroke season. Then this is Ipswich. He was able to take out two of the features, Brock Ryan riding one of them and Sam Collett riding the other. And it was interesting to see this horse. He does appreciate the softer going. And we said at the start mm. of the program that it did look as though it was presenting softer than the soft five. And that's exactly what Smart Meteor likes. And it was downgraded later on through the day. So really good for him. And as soon as we arrived uh, here in the studio, you said, Bet of the day, Skyman, and he delivered with a great turn of foot. Yeah, great turn of foot. He hasn't won for a long time. I can't believe I was so confident. I didn't realise <laughs> it was that many runs of outs. But he just is perfectly trained, well placed, like we saw Waller uh, being able to place five winners today. Just five winners at Rose Hill Gardens. Another highlight for him. And uh, Skyman gets the job done. Wasn't from a rail skimming ride, no. but a really good ride. <laughs> <laughs> and then down the straight at Flemington, this battle in the Kresik. Star Patrol, the gelding again. Against the quality filly and Lizzie, you nailed that one as well. Passive, aggressive, was too fast. She was, and so professional. She just pricked her ears. She travelled so tractably. Unlike Star Patrol, she has just got no chinks in her armour whatsoever. So she's the, the real star of the show today. I think she's got so much upside, and she's still got such a um, more improvement, you would suspect, to come just with her physicalities being such a young filly. Well, I couldn't find a roughy to win, so this is my particular highlight today, and this was some of the scenes we saw at Ipswich, uh, whether they be these incredible new wave of mullets that's going around. Gee, I tell you what, the mums and dads are proud of what they're producing here with some of the, A, the dance moves. The mullet is such a, at strength at Ipswich. That looks a it's fair just, party town. Yeah, the mullets and the sunglasses and some of those dance moves as well. <laughs> and the tashes. What's yeah. this, I mean, <laughs> look at this. Next year, you and I are going to be in the middle of that mosh pit. And Bruce. Bruce okay. will be there front and centre as well with uh, Caitlin. Can you imagine Emma Friedman there? Wouldn't she absolutely love it? <laughs> of course, next week we've got the final group one, the Tats Tiara. Remember Tafane storming down the outside to win last year. She's a Group 1 star, isn't she? Look at the crowd. Isn't it brilliant to see crowds back at the races? Craig Williams, who's just been doing amazing things at the moment over in Ukraine, was able to win last uh, uh, year. Snapdance is the favourite ahead of Anna Visto. Um, Naj Marty at $8. And then we get to Nudge for Chris Wallace, Tartante's Wonderbar, away game, Brooklyn Hustle. So the usual suspects here. Yep, usual suspects, but uh, Snap Dancer does look like a... Well, she's just in terrific form, so looking forward to the Tats Tiara, the final Group 1 of the season. Where has that season gone? It has been a great season. So many highlights dominated by uh, 10 Group 1s to Chris Waller, 10 Group 1s to James McDonald. The emergence as a staying superstar of She's Elegant, who franked everything that we know about her, and then Nature Strip uh, with Very Elegant, going to battle out who is the Australian Horse of the Year. A fair bit to play out, of course, next week, and you'll be in the wonderful hands of Emma Friedman alongside you, uh, Lizzie. So have a lot of fun and steer this beautiful ship. We will have a lot of fun. Make sure you join us next week. OK, I hope you found a winner today. Uh, good night.